Muhammad received Quran in seven different ways so that it will be easier for people to learn it. And Muhammad begged to angel to do that. Oh, Gabriel, please help me. My ummah is just cannot read and write. They are just not good. Help me, give me Quran in seven different ways. And then angel Gabriel meets with the need of Muhammad and gave. Not need, actually. Met with the wish of Muhammad and then gave Quran in seven different ways to Muhammad. Approximate 20 years after death of Muhammad, third caliph steps in and orders burning of the Qurans because Quran was causing fitna, different versions of the Quran was causing damage to Muslim world. But then the question is being asked is, when Uthman ordered everything to be burned, the form he put the Quran together, was that Quran is the same which Allah revealed to Muhammad through Gabriel in seven different ways. Can we see these seven different versions of the Quran in the manuscripts of Uthman? Let's hear from Professor Yasin Dutton to get answer to this question. I don't want to be the kind of hope breaker here, but you are going to see answer is no. Uthman did not do that. Answer is simply no, 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 no. But let's hear from Professor Yasin Dutton as he teaches this to Muslim missionaries from Speaker's Corner. See, they knew the answers, but they still, without any shame, they look into camera and then they lie. That is the beauty of followers of Muhammad. So, do the Uthmani Mus'afs contain all of the seven Ahruf? And he said, this is a major issue, a major question about which the ulama have different views. Certain groups among the fuqaha, the Qurra and the Mutakallimeen take the view that the Uthmani Mus'afs contain all the seven Ahruf. They base this on the premise that it's not possible for the Ummah to have neglected to transmit any of the seven Ahruf in which the Qur'an was revealed. In other words, they're saying we have a complete memory, we have a complete transmission of everything that was sent down to the Prophet and therefore seven Ahruf were sent down, we have seven Ahruf available now. That's that position. So it's a kind of logical thing because we know that we haven't lost anything and because we know that Allah Ta'ala is preserving the Qur'an, then we can assume logically that everything is there. So all seven Ahruf are there. That's point number one. So he says, they base this on the premise that it's not possible for the Ummah to have neglected to transmit any of the seven Ahruf in which the Qur'an was revealed. The companions agreed about transmitting the Uthmani Mus'haf from the pages which Abu Bakr and Omar had written out and about sending those Mus'haf to the centers of the Muslim world. So there's one sent to Kufa, one sent to Damascus, one sent to Mecca, Medina, etc. And they also agreed about leaving out anything else. So they fixed it on that. So they're saying logically it must contain everything. These people say that it's not possible that it should be forbidden to recite any of the seven Ahruf, nor that they, in other words, companions, would have agreed to leave out any part of the Qur'an. So it's a sort of logical um, extension. However, now this is Ibn al-Jazari, as the very accurate scholar that he was. He says, however, the majority, now Jamahir is a, like a, a Jumhur is a lot of people, and Jamahir is the plural, like the, Libya calls itself, the, or used to, the Jamahiriya, you know, the, like lots of, <coughs> lots of people. So the majority of both earlier and later scholars say so this is the mainstream standard position, all right? The first one exists, it's known about, and you'll see that they're sort of intellectual descendants of it. The majority of both earlier and later scholars and the imams of the Muslims, so like Imam, 
Malik, Imam Abu Hanifa, etc., are of the opinion that the Uthmani Mus'hafs only contain, out of the seven Ahraf, what the skeletal text can support, what the Rasm can support. These Mus'hafs include all of the last rendition, Al Ard al Akhira, because we know that before the Prophet died, Sidna Jibril appeared to him twice, went over the whole thing to, if you like, fix it. So as rendered by the Prophet ﷺ to Jibreel without leaving out any harf from that rendition. Now harf is being used in a different way there because harf can mean letter. So, or, or it can mean a small, um, like they say, kelima, like, like in, uh, you know, like in sort of the, excuse me saying the Pakistani world, but you know, you learn like uh, uh, the different kalimas, la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, kalima number one or whatever it is, kalima number two. Now that's a phrase, right? That's not a word. Kalima means word, but it can mean phrase consisting of a number of words. So anyway, when you, so the word kalima is uh, ambiguous there, and harf can mean a kalima in the, the broader sense, and as big as being the harf of Ibn Mas'ud, meaning the reading of Ibn Mas'ud. So harf can be from one letter, alif, ba, ta, tha, mim, Etc. My alphabet's really bad. Alif, ba, ta, ta, jim, ha, ha. Yes, there you go. And so all of those uh, harf, uh, huruf, and, and then harf can be broader and broader and broader and broader, which is part of the ambiguity of it, which is why there's a problem with what this hadith actually means. So, this latter view is the one that seems to me, he says, to be correct because of the authentic hadiths and well-known <coughs> and widespread reports that indicate it and bear witness to it. <coughs> so, does the Quran of Uthman contains different versions of the Quran which Muhammad received? Opinion A is, yes it does, because Muslim community will never overlook what Allah has given to Muhammad through Gabriel. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure that was the case. They couldn't even save the Quran from the tummy of the ship. They couldn't even save the Quran from those people who were dying and different versions were already causing problem. They did leave out things, even though professors express, oh, opinion A is they will never leave out anything. But we can see that is not, according to the Islamic tradition, cannot be true. Opinion B. Uthman's Musaf contains only, contains only what the, what the Razm, skeleton text of Arabic in the Uthmanic, Uthman's manuscript, could support. So if there were the different versions of the Quran, which there were, remember it was causing fitna, if the letters of Uthman's Musaf was not able to take it, it would stay out. I think just wonderful. Most wonderful part is, Muslim missionaries are listening that and without any shame, they, they still today simply claim, yeah, Uthman's Musaf was, is capable to contain these seven different Ahruvs which were given to Muhammad. But according to the majority of, uh, majority of authority, majority of view, no, it could only can handle what was, what it could support. It is very disappointing that while professors and Muslim missionaries are explaining to us how one perfect Quran has been perfectly and perfectly and perfectly being preserved, all we are getting to hear is not only there are holes in the narrative, there are big gaps and people simply overlooked what Allah 
give it to Muhammad through Gabriel. Preservation of the Quran is a big problem and big problem and big problem. And there is only one perfect word of God that is called Lord Jesus Christ, eternal Son of God, eternal word of God, God man who gave himself on the cross for us. Let's go to him because he is the only one who filled the gaps for us. He filled the gaps.